So I'm bringing another piece of gear to go ahead and review. Um, again, this product is uh, related to the Ruger 1022. Um, this product is also brought to you by the Bear Flag Revolt. So go check out the Bear Flag Revolt. Contact Kenny. He'll set you up. Anyway, before I get into the review of the particular stock that we're going to go ahead and do my preliminary review on, um, you know, kind of preliminary, kind of in the middle of testing. Anyways, uh, I've been doing a lot of products for the Bear Flag Revolt as far as, you know, different products that I've been bringing to you as the YouTuber for you to check out, try out, and see what your thoughts are. Uh, basically, uh... I want some feedback. Uh, leave a comment on the channel whether you go ahead and buy these products or leave a comment on the Bear Flag Revolt on eBay. And uh, let Kenny know on you know how you came across this product, whether you stumbled across his actual eBay store or I sent you. So leave, leave him a comment, leave me a comment, and after you purchase or buy a particular product, you know, let me know how it is. Let him know how it is as well too. Anyways, uh, we're actually bringing you the uh, product for the Ruger 1022. Uh, the actual stock is by Promag. Uh, this uh, Promag stock is from the Archangel uh, Development uh, Division of um, Promag. This is their Archangel Deluxe Target stock made by Promag. First off, uh, they make this particular stock in two different colors. Uh, they make it in the Ranger Green or OD Green, whatever you want to call it, or they make it in black. Now, what is cool about this particular stock versus any other ProMag product is it is your traditional stock. Therefore, there is no extra parts you need to put on. You don't have to put on a forearm, and you don't have to put on a receiver cover. Versus their Nomad kit and their... Uh, 556 kit for the Ruger 1022 um, it's very low maintenance uh, the Nomad kit and the 556 kit are really cool kits but it's a lot of work to clean your firearm and if you clean your firearms as much as I do because I clean mine all the time virtually every time I, I shoot it it's kind of a pain and kind of a beast to go ahead and take it apart for cleaning you not only have to take the actual kit apart, but then you have to go ahead and take the actual firearm apart to go ahead and clean it. Now, starting off from the rear to the front, uh, this particular stock is a thumb hole stock. This is completely ambidextrous. And so if you're a right hand shooter, you, uh, you, know, you can get your point of aim, right hand, or if you're a left hand shooter, it's the same on left or right, so this is truly an ambidextrous stock. Uh, the material that it's made out of is a high density polymer. Um, it resists weather. Uh, it resists cleaners. It's, it's a very, very good high quality uh, polymer and very durable uh, polymer plastic and uh, a good composite stock. And I'm, I'm generally very traditional. I do like my wood stocks, but you know, I, I've come into my own when it comes to polymer stocks. I mean, the uh, plastic stocks and the composite stocks have come a long way. And this one is no exception to the rule. This one is outstanding. Um, it's comfortable to shoot. It's, it's a great stock. Anyways, uh, right out of the box, it is kind of a short length of pull. But you can tailor that to the particular shooter. So therefore you can go ahead and adjust your length of pull, which is kind of neat. And you've got a thumb screw on the back. Um, it can be kind of a bear to do. Um, so if you have very weak fingers, well, strengthen your fingers a little bit. Second of all, uh, again from the rear to the front, we do have sling mounts, the uh, coupler style sling mounts. You have one on the uh, right side of the stock and you have one on the left side of the stock which is kind of cool. So uh, you can ad adaptate a coupler style sling mount. 
Also, you can go ahead and it does come with a traditional sling, uh, sling point here for your traditional stock. And again, this is the uh, ProMags Archangel Development Department's um, Deluxe Target Stock. Alright, with the ProMag uh, Archangel Deluxe Target Stock, also on the rear part of the stock you have a Monte Carlo stock, so you get a really, really nice cheek weld right up above. So therefore, it sits. It's very, very comfortable to go ahead and bench shoot with. Moving up, uh, again uh, with this particular stock, you have stippling. That's if you can see that. Uh, you've got stippling all the way on the forend, all the way down to almost the rear uh, front part of the actual pistol pistol grip, and you have that on both sides. And it's not too aggressive and it's not too little and not too much. It's actually a great combination of stippling. Um, bear in mind with this particular stock, uh, for the most part on a lot of newer Ruger 1022 receivers, you generally don't have to do any mach machining. For the most part, it's pretty drop in. Um, my receiver is unique. Mine's a 30 year production, therefore mine was built in 1966. Therefore, the receiver is slightly larger than the stock, so I had to do some machining and uh, do some fit and finishing to fit this, partic this particular receiver in the actual uh, stock. And again, great stippling. Um, you get a good purchase if you're shooting offhand. You know, it's, it's very comfortable. And then, uh, of course, you're probably going to go with either an aftermarket or your existing um, uh, your uh, takedown screw or your screw that holds the action in. Mine is actually Volkhorzen. That's neither here nor there. Alright, moving on to the bottom part of the stock. Uh, the bottom part of the stock has a very flat, um, very flat profile. Uh, this is beneficial on a lot of different aspects. Um, it's beneficial because if you're if you're target shooting and bench shooting, um, you get a very very flat surface. Therefore, you're going to you are you have the ability to be the most accurate because you have a flat surface. And here it also has the coupler style uh, sling mounts. If you want to, you have two different positions. You've got one up here, and you have you have one up here, and then you have one down here. And also you have your traditional sling mount top of that. Alright, uh, as far as the the flat surface, the other the other perk to having a flat surface on your stock is a bipod. And what's really cool about that, let's see if I can get that mounted on camera here. Doing this one handed is fun. that's the beauty of the flat surface is you have a flat plane to go ahead and put your bipod on which is really really nice and then you know go ahead and go shooting it's easy to put on and easy to take off you don't have any you know flopping around or anything because you have a nice flat surface and uh, again so far this stock has been outstanding in LNR um, it's a very comfortable stock to shoot I, I can't say anything bad about it. Uh, honestly, it's very simple in design. It's n no fuss versus like the 556 kit and the Nomad kit, which they're really cool stock sets. But it's, it's, a, it's a beast when it comes to cleaning them. Because again, with those kits, you have to take not only, not only have to put the kit on, but to clean it, you have to take the kit apart, and then you gotta take the barreled action out, and then you go ahead and disassemble your action versus this is just taken out of the stock and disassembling as usual like you were taking it out of your factory Ruger 1022 stock. Alright, so uh, we went through the basic stock layout and how this is actually presented. Now, one other feature that this stock has versus a lot of other stocks. Now I have a 920 diameter Elysium Arms barrel in this one. 
therefore it does accommodate your heavy target barrels. Now, if you want to stock and you don't want to change out the barrel and you're happy with your factory Ruger 1022 barrel, I mean, I, I like them, they're great squirrel accuracy, but for me, they're a little too inconsistent, so that's why I go with a heavy mass grade uh, target barrel, 920 to be exact. So, for instance, if you are, you know, running your factory contoured barrel uh, straight from Ruger, they offer your, uh, your tensioner block. And what your tensioner block is for, you can use it on the 920 diameter barrels as well, but it's specifically designed for uh, your factory barrel. Now, you don't necessarily need it with a 922, uh, uh, excuse me, 920 diameter barrel because it is truly free floating. But if you, they call it a tensioner block because there are little slots on the inside of the actual stock, you can just drop that in and it's got a set screw on the bottom. So when you have your factory barrel in it, you drop that in uh, before you put your action in, and then you drop your action in, and therefore, uh, once you uh, turn it to the right, it actually pushes up on the barrel and makes it more of a snug fit. Um, I'm very up in the air about whether I like this or not. I haven't really shot with this particular uh, tensioner block, but it is an option. So that's pretty much the ProMag Archangel Deluxe Target Stock in a nutshell. Um, I hope this uh, pulmonary review slash review has been helpful and hopefully later on in the summer, summer I, uh, later in the summer or later in the year, I can do some uh, grouping with this to show you on paper on what this stock does. Uh, again, with, and of course, I don't have a factory 10, 22 barrel, but maybe I'll do that in, a, in future videos. But again, this is the ProMag Archangel Deluxe Target Stock, made by ProMag. You can pick this up at uh, the Bear Flag Revolt. Feel free to contact Kenny. I believe he sells these for, I think, $100. I could be wrong. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll leave that in the description. But again, another product review for the Ruger 1022. And again, feel free to check out the Bear Flag Revolt. Remember, feel free to rate, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to re leave comments at the bottom. At any rate, uh, I need feedback on the Bear Flag Revolt's products, so uh, feel free to leave them to Kenny or the Bear Flag Revolt, or feel free to leave them on Lock and Reload. Again, this is Lock and Reload with another gear review. As always, I'll catch you later.